Hi, and welcome to another Mystic Dude Last Depot video. So in this video, we're going to be looking at experimental affixes, what they do, where you can get them, and all things related to them. So with no further ado, let's get into the game and get on with it. Right, so here we are inside uh, an echo in a monolith, and we've uh, cleared the echo out so we don't get distracted while I show you this. This is a, a rune prison, as you can see. And uh, inside here is a, an exiled mage. And the mages are the NPCs that drop the experimental items. So we'll just uh, dispatch this guy. And, uh, see what he drops for us. So as you can see there, see there he's dropped a, a root oh. leave me alone when I'm doing a video will you right how rude of him right so as you can see here he's dropped a, he can drop glyphs he can drop rune he's dropped as a rune and the experimental items so we'll just click them and uh, head back So if you want to see a list of all the experimental affixes, just head over to Last Epoch Tools, uh, hit resources and uh, items, and scroll down to affixes, just type in experimental in the search bar, and it'll bring you up uh, all the affixes, as you can see there's 12 of them, which is same as what it shows in the loop filter. And uh, yeah, just have a look at what's available. So here we are at the uh, Echo World platform. I uh, just let me inventory getting some items out. I've got up on screen uh, a couple of graphics for the two glyphs and the rune, which are relevant to what we're going to be looking at. The glyph of insight and rune research are relevant to the experimental items, and the glyph of despair is, is relevant because it's similar that it adds a fifth a fixed slot. So the other thing I want to point out is. If you look at the icons of the, uh, the gears, you'll see that they've got a contrasting colour. One is to show the rarity, and the other to show that it's experimental. The uh, belt over here is an exalted one, and these are rares. If I was slamming, uh, I think that's the term they use. So if I had a, a, a unique item with uh, 2 LP or 3 LP that I wanted to sort of like slam these onto it would have to be an exalted you cannot slam one of these so if even if it's really good rolls it, it won't slam on you as as you would normally do it has to be an exalted base item so let's see how they work so the rune of research here, I've got four of them. How do you get these? So if you've got an experimental item, so that's not been modified or previously slammed. Let's see, see if I've got one here. One, two, three, four, so. I think this one's all right. So what you do, you put your experimental item in, you put the rune of research in, and seal the effects. This is what they refer to it. It comes up down here. You'll see it in a second. And it, it will seal the effects. So that's gone down to there. And if you look at the tooltip, it says it has a, a chance to drop a glyph of insight. And on this occasion, which is wonderful when you're recording, it has dropped a glyph of insight. So you just click on that, it goes into your bag, and you can just transfer it. So that's how you put the item into the uh, fifth slot. I'll just bring it back because uh, we'll point out, might as well point something out here. Yeah. So by br bringing it from there down to here, it's now opened up this slot. So we'll just be hypothetical. Forget about the stats. Let's just say these are all stats we wanted. By bringing it down there, that we've now opened that up and we could put another 
stat in. So now we've got where we had four stats, we've now got five. If you were, if you shattered an item, you will not get a fixes for the experimental items. So if we shatter that, you don't get any fixes for them. So you can't add them on in, you know, in the normal process that you would do. So that's the experimental fixes. If you were uh, type G in game and type experimental, it will bring up a nice little guide which tells you a lot. It's a really good in-game guide. If you never use the guide, uh, I would I would do it. Again, if you've got questions, it actually gives you the option, as you can see at the bottom, to link articles in the chat and maybe ask somebody in global chat uh, you know, so I say, hey guys, I'm just looking at this. I'm a bit confused about this particular point. Really helpful community. There'll be somebody who helps you. So yeah, the in-game guide is really good. One, of, Probably one of the best, uh, if not the best in-game guide I've uh, ever seen. Talking of uh, best features, we'll, bring, we'll talk about the loot filter. So the loot filter for the fixes, you want to have it on shore. And then if in the configure, again, just type experimental, it'll bring up the experimental list and you can select all of them or one of them or whichever ones you're looking for. Initially, I would select them all uh, just so you can uh, smash them like I did to get a little of insight. So really good feature, two good features, the in-game guide, loot filter, which will help you with this. So now I'm going to show you uh, how we make them applicable. So I've just shown you that that first one, how you can add a fifth stat and then roll it as normal. So if we look at my relic over here, that's got five stats and it's not experimental. So this this one is going to use the glyph of despair. Yeah. So. Uh, You would bring in an item to your forge as normal. And if you read the tooltip, it says it has a chance to seal the effects. Now, when it seals it, it moves it down to this fifth position. So it stays the effects that it already is. It doesn't turn it into a, an experimental one. It just moves it down. It, and as you can see, it has a higher chance when it's on lower tiers. So the lower tier is tier one. And uh, as you can see on that one, tier six. Tier six and seven, you can't do anything with them. They're locked, you, they're not craftable. But between one and five, they are. So let's just say this, uh, I mean, it's not actually a bad piece, this. So let's get rid of that uh, ward for a start. So let's see, if, let's see if we can upgrade that ward into something good. I don't like damage over time. Don't like minion damage. What, what should we be throwing next? Yeah. Absolute cod swallow. <laughs> Tell me it's not fixed. Obviously, certain uh, fixes have a higher chance of rolling than others. Anyway, we're not bothered about this. We weren't going to use it. It did have a nice ar armor value on. So let's go back to this. Uh, we want to seal it down to the bottom. So at the moment, it's on a. It only has a chance. Uh, and you've got to keep an eye on your forging potential because we haven't got a glyph of all pin it's just a despair on the own. so you just put your glyph of despair in select the affix that you want yeah and click upgrade and as you can see it moved down to here it took a, a random amount but you know the cost of forging it tells you down here uh, it didn't cost us that much and it moved it down there and if this you know, I mean, if you use minions, you know, this is going to be a good piece. You've got armor, everything else. Uh, you can seal these using Glyph of Despair. Unlike the uh, Glyph of Insight, which only does, does a, a prefix. We'll show that in a second. Uh, the Glyph of Despair can lock in prefixes and suffixes. However, it's a chance. Yeah. So, uh just bear that in mind. 
Right, so let's get rid of this. And we'll look at the uh, the other ones. So, uh, we'll bring up a... Uh, let, let's ru ruin another one. Where's my character going? So, on this one, we're going to try and lock in... Uh, we're going to change uh, a prefix to an experimental uh, prefix. Now, the way it works is based on certain values on the Glyph of Insight. So, for the gloves, it's based on the total of the affixed tiers. For the belt, it's based on uh, the level requirement. For the for the item and for the boots it's based on how much forging potential this does not tell you in game uh, there is a site which I'll, I'll put a link down below for tunk lab plastic.tunklab.com and it's an absolute fantastic resource uh, site for last epoch and it, it contains glyph of insight information so you for whichever item that you do in based on the values that are on your items you can you can just select them and it will tell you what it is i would suggest practicing with it. It, it it can be a bit confusing so just collect your items and try it on the items that you're not too bothered about breaking or wasting before you try it on a, an item that's really good so uh so we'll add a, we'll add this up here let's let's just put another fix in here just for for balance it doesn't matter we're not bothered about this item uh, so we'll stick a, an fx in there right so as you can see it, it says change the prefix into an experimental fix so we're on gloves and like i said gloves work by the total affix tiers now what that means is if you add these tiers up t6 t5 t3 t1 yeah that's what the total amount is so in this case it's 15. so if you look on on the the top lab site and put in so you will put in like three for your first prefix one for your dexterity uh then five and six for the others and that will give you a result and in this case it tells you ward gained on kill so if that's the fix that you want then you could just click upgrade fix and it will do it but let's say we wanted uh health lost so what you would do is on the tongue lab you, you could increase the tiers so let's say i'll increase the tier of prefix two to two and that tells me it would be dodge rated so let's increase it to three and that tells me that i'm going to get what i want so let's take it out for a second and we're going to increase this to three now what you've got to be careful about is if you get any critical strikes on this which increases basically gives you a free tier because that'll put the total value up so we'll do one increase there another increase right with with no critical strikes so now you can bring your glyph of insight in click upgrade a fix and as you can see we got experimental ward with uh with health lost now again we, we've still got forging potential you can bring in your uh, rune of research and as before drop it down here now that that has now then opened up this slot so you could uh add something else in let's say you want to add dexter let's say you actually wanted dexterity and you add it back in and um, we're now looking at the gloves with a fifth stat on and we've got the uh, experimental ward permits in health what you've got to bear in mind is forging potential a lot of these items don't drop with high forging potential yeah the experimental ones as you can see there they're not very high so the more actions that you perform the more likely is that you're going to run out of forging potential so you could have 
you could have an item that's got tier 6 and tier 7 a really good drop over here say uh, but by sealing your experimental you could run out of forging potential and you know basically make it useless so uh, let's just have a look at my clubs are these maxed out so as you can see on that one there that's a good good example so the gloves I'm wearing, I've only got tier 3 and tier 1 because I ran out of forging potential. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, they need changing at some point. So let's have a look at this one. As you can see there, tier 4, tier 3. So you've got to be very, very careful that you don't run out of forging potential. Let's have a look at my uh, relic. That's a little bit better. I did well on there. They're all 5s and a 6. Uh, so, so yeah, be very careful. You know, take your time with it. Make sure you 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 put in your glyphs in the right glyphs that you want. Put in put in the right rune in. You know, don't put the wrong one in and and end up breaking it. Because uh, I've we've say we've all done it. I've definitely done it. Where I've I forgot that I've got my rune shattering in. And I've, I've smashed it and yeah, I'm like, oh no, there's no take backs. So, as you can see there, if we put the uh, rude research in, it doesn't give you the option to uh, take it out. It says it's already got uh, a sealed affix. it wasn't an experimental to start with you can still shatter it and like I said before if you shatter it you can get fixes for these and for these but not for this so how can it how can it enhance your build well there's certain different fixes that uh, are useful we'll have a quick look at a couple of them so Two seconds of frenzy after it use a traversal skill, plus a, an increased effect of frenzy. Now frenzy, if we bring it up, is a hair skill. So as you can see, it's a buff that gives you 20% increase attack speed. Yeah. So then you've got a 29% increase on that. So that's going to give you about 25% increase attack and cast speed. Uh, so pretty good, you know. I mean. And a, a traversal skill with my, my build it would be lunge so as as i've lunged into a, a group of enemies i've now got a nice little uh 24 24.8 i can't add it up to me but yeah roughly about 25 percent increased uh, attack speed for four seconds so that that's good uh the health lost and ward gain uh as i've said before a lot of people are using this to give themselves uh, a ward barrier. As you can see, if I channel my healing hands there, my health goes up and my, my ward goes up. I think mine tops out at about 15 16k. So it's a nice little uh, defensive barrier. Let's see if there's any more that I'm holding. Uh, zombies, if you're running a minion, as far as I know, your minions do get affected by them. Uh, any any minion uh, attributes that you've got so they, they do have a length of life and I've noticed that with the ice beetles and stuff like that so but yeah nice little bit of fun nothing harm I mean zombies will take aggro away from you you know if that's what you want what have I got on mine over here I've got traversal skill cooldown so that helps a cooldown on this so I just you know prefer it so have a look at them, see see what you think is uh, beneficial to you. Like I said, I'll, I'll drop a link below for for Tunk Labs, so you can have a look at the site. Fantastic site, really good, full of resources. I'll drop a link uh, below for Last Epoch Tools, uh, just in case you haven't been there before. I think most people have, but there's a lot of new players to it, so they, they might not be familiar with these sites. So have a look at them sites and uh, yeah I hope uh, that's explained a little bit about the the glyph of insight the glyph of despair and the rune of research 
so i've fought and for now we stick dude out